Hey y'all, Chow here, and if you ever wanted to customize your Android phone to your certain ringtone or your certain notification tone and you didn't know how to do that, well I'm here to help you do that. So let's get started. Right now I'm using the Galaxy S8 and under the Galaxy S8 and most other Android phones, if you go to settings and then you go to sounds and vibration, um, you will find a tab called ringtone. Under ringtone, you just go ahead and click ringtone and scroll around and you can listen. Maybe you'll like some of the default uh, ringtones that it comes with. Uh, in my case, I don't. Um, there's a little button here or a uh, uh, selection. You can click add from phone. You're gonna go ahead and click that and then just click sound picker. For me, I also downloaded Google Drive, so that's why it's giving me that as an option. Whatever one is your default. So you, you'd find it, you'd click uh, sound picker in my case, allow, and then I'm gonna choose hip hop violin because that's the one I've been using and that's what I wanted. All right, done. So that was really quick and easy. Sometimes it doesn't have that option to add one of your own songs or one of your own um, ringtones. Uh, and if you go to notification sounds, you'll see that it doesn't have that option. You'll just go to message notification. Uh, I'll go to default notification sound because that's what I want it to be. So as you scroll around the options for this, you can't find the um, add your own tone, right? So in order to add your own tone, you're going to have to go to the Play Store and then add a File Explorer, File Manager, ES at least. That's the one I use, so I know it works with this. It might work with other file managers, but this is the one that I tend to use and that I actually really enjoy using. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Click Accept. Uh, let it install. And um, for me, after you do this, uh, I tend to use it because I really like the file manager. So I tend to keep the app, but after you're done with all of this, you can also go ahead and remove it if you don't want the app anymore after you're done setting your um, custom message tone and ringtone. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. All right, start now. Okay, and so here are all the exit. I don't want to know what's new. So these are the messages that I downloaded or the tones and I'm going to go ahead and click the Blackberry MS because that's what I want. So you're going to click on that and then the ES Chromecast player. So go ahead and click the ES Chromecast player and it plays back what your um, notification sound is or what you um, want it to be. You go ahead and click settings, the three dots on the top right corner and then set ringtone. Click set ringtone and then set as notification. You can also custom set a, an alarm sound if you want as well, which is pretty cool. And it just says set success, which is awesome. So now if you go to your settings, go back to the um, your ringtones or no sounds and vibration, and then you'll go to your notification sound. If you look at the default um, notification sound, it is what I set it to. And uh, let's say you don't want the app anymore, right? So you're going to go ahead and go to settings, um, application. Oh, I guess in my case it's called apps, but it, whatever your application manager is for your Android phone, it could be um, called applications and spelled out rather than just saying apps. But you go to apps or applications. And then you'll find, go to E, scroll down to that um, app that we just downloaded, ES File Explorer, and then now you'll go to Storage. Um, but your goal is to clear data. So you wanna clear the data so that'll clear any data that it used up, just in case just clicking uninstall doesn't do that. So you'll clear the data and then just click uninstall. And that's it. That's how you set your um, own custom notification sounds or your own ringtones or alarm sounds. Um, if this helped you out, go ahead and like it. Um, if you have any questions on how to do this or something went wrong, go ahead and just drop a comment and hopefully I can respond to you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again. Bye friends.